Hi, it's Thursday. I am talking about two mistakes I made in my previous business and my current business that I wanted to share with you because my goal is to help women launch their ideas into the world. And I realized like a lot of the women I work with make the same mistakes that I made. And so I thought maybe I would talk about these mistakes so that you could have a better understanding of the thought process that needs to go in when you're trying to launch something. So before I owned my current coaching business, I was an owner in a fitness studio. I was one of three partners. And before that, I was a teacher. And I taught for like 14 or 15 years. And that's, I was just a teacher. That was my, you know, big thing. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. So when I started my business with my two partners, I really was lost a lot of the time because I kept telling myself I'm not a business person. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. And that was really defeating to me. I, I, I went in, I kept saying, I'm not this. Rather than a more helpful way of thinking, which would have been, I'm learning this. I'm learning how to be a business person. I'm learning marketing. I'm learning operations. I'm learning how to manage 35 people. But instead, I kept beating myself up in my brain saying, I'm not this, I'm just a teacher. I don't belong here. I'm a big fraud. My hair cracks me up in these videos. It's so big. Um, and because I had that negative mindset, it was like I was setting myself up for failure. And so I wanted to offer you a different way to think about it. If you are launching something, maybe you are becoming whatever it is. Maybe you're becoming an author or you're becoming a podcaster or you're becoming a business owner. Whatever it is, you're like in the process of doing it. And you need to be kind to yourself and not beat the hell out of yourself because it's just not productive. I went from being a teacher to a business owner. And I felt like an imposter the entire time. I was like, when is somebody going to figure out that I don't know what I'm doing? The day that I left that business, I went uh, silent. Um, at, at one point, I left the business, but just came, like stayed on as a silent owner. I walked out of the door and I looked back at the studio and I thought, I never want another woman to feel as lost and confused and alone as I did. That was my first mistake. I never felt... Like it was okay to learn as I went. And now I work with women all the time. And my whole thing to them is like, you're figuring it out. We're figuring it out together. Here's what I can share with you. Here's what I can teach you. Here's what you're becoming. So if you have a mindset like, I want to start a business, but I'm not a business person and I don't have an MBA and I didn't go to school for business and I've been in the healthcare field or I've been in the education field and I need X, Y, and Z before I do that. I want you to know you probably don't need that. There's people who can help you, but you don't need to be everything the minute that you decide. You can take small steps to get there. It's like um, the minute you have a baby, if you're, if you're a parent out there, you have your kid, you bring your kid home and now you're a parent, right? But like, you don't know what you're doing. I, I still like I'm figuring it out. I'm becoming the parent of a teenager, but right now I'm the parent of a tween and I'm figuring it all out as I go. Why can't we be nicer to ourselves as we're growing a business or launching a, a podcast or something? So I just ask you, check in with your thoughts about that. Are you beating yourself up over that? The second mistake I made was I did not ask for the right help. Um, I, oh, we, we, we would not invest in help. I would take every free webinar that was out there. I would follow podcasts. I would listen to podcasts and take notes copiously. But I would never invest in our, and we never would invest in ourselves because we didn't have the money. That's what we kept telling ourselves. We didn't have the money was our mantra. And that's like, I, I deal with a lot of women who feel that way. Like they're like, I don't have the money. I don't have the money. And frankly, if we had invested in ourselves, I don't know that that business would have gone the way it did. I think we would have been more successful, but we were so like tight and afraid and coming from fear rather than um, abundance and being like, if I invest in an expert, I'm going to save myself energy. I'm going to save myself time. I'm going to save myself money. So, hey, Barb, um, I want you to know that if there's something that you want to bring to life, the first thing you need to check out is your mindset, because that's the number two reason I think that, well, they're all kind of 
The number one and two reasons people don't bring their things, their ideas to life is they don't have, hey, Loey, they don't have the time and they don't have the right mindset. And so my goal is to help women get more time. You want to save time? Ask for help. And You know, if that means like spending all of your time doing podcasts and free stuff, you're going to burn yourself out. And if you can find the right help, and this is like the key, I think. What I didn't realize, um, there's people who talk at you and there's people who talk with you. And I think I got really burned in my first business by people talking at us, people shooting all over us. You should do this. You should do this. You should do this. And I... I think that made me really wary of asking for help. So I want you to understand that if you're talking to somebody about maybe hiring them or getting them to help you and it doesn't feel right and you're like, maybe there's another way to do this, search that out because there's not one way to start a business and run a business. There's certainly there's best practices and things you can do, but I want you to understand you have to trust your gut on that. So the two mistakes I made just to wrap up, Number one, I had a really negative mindset. I'm not this. I'm not a business person. I'm, an, I'm a sham. Somebody's going to figure it out. Um, and the number two one was that I didn't really get the help I needed. I needed somebody to talk to me in a very certain way. I needed, I needed a certain kind of help and I was wasting a lot of time trying to do everything myself. So if that sounds like you, I want you to check in with yourself. How's your mindset and where are you spending your time? Because until you check out those two things, you're not going to reach your goal. Does that sound familiar to you? And if so, let me know in the comments, what do you think about where your mindset is about what you're doing next? Remember, you're becoming that. I'm a person who is learning this. You don't have to be an expert to get started. How could you be? You haven't done it yet. Of course, you're not an expert. Um, Hey, oh, I forgot to tell you. So my name's Jen Liddy and I am a productivity and accountability coach. I help women, entrepreneurial women get their businesses like kind of up off the couch and into the world. So if you have an idea or a goal that you want to achieve this year, I can help you do that. And I really love to offer help so that you can get started. So follow my page, subscribe to my YouTube channel, but I would love to hear what your idea is and where you're, you know, where you're stuck, where all your time and energy is going. So thank you for watching. I appreciate when you're here and I will see you soon. Bye.